I'm prepping for a coral show, which is happening in Niagara Falls uh, tomorrow, April 30th, 2023. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you there. So this time around, I actually built this little custom stand, which shows off um, the visors uh, that, well, let's take a step back. I'm gonna be both showing some dry goods as well as uh, corals. So we're gonna start with some dry goods and all of this I design and manufacture myself. So this is a little stand that just kind of shows you all the different frag um, equipment for different racks. There's uh, multi-level racks, there is price tags. This is the new Frag Rack Revolution. And all of this is um, available on treasurecorals.com. So if you go there, you can actually see uh, better looking photos and details on pretty much everything that you see here in this video. But I also have three different lights, which are the Radeon XR15, Prime and Hydro 64 HD, and each one of them has a visor. So this way there is no light that's hitting your uh, eyesight when you are enjoying your tank. There is power brackets, which are pretty awesome. It's really easy to clip in. There's no Velcro, none of that stuff. So I do those for Hydro 64s and MP40s and Primes. And even uh, lately it's been the Radions. So this is the big uh, boy because uh, the um, power brick for this one is huge. It's massive. Now this will be my little frag tank. So again, this is actually uh, using the same frag rack revolution that I um, um, have shown you a little bit earlier, right over here. And it's, it's really awesome. You can lift everything up, you can you know position it. There is five by fives, but there is also four by four and three by three. So uh, if we XR, sorry, four um, bigger uh, um, corals, you can actually use uh, less spacing, uh, sorry, less holes, more spacing between them. So that way the corals are not touching and it's fully optimized. There's gonna be the tweezers, which are very awesome and I use them all the time. There's a little custom plaque, uh, which is gonna be sitting there. So it's gonna look really awesome and I will do a video Hopefully I'll have time to do a view, show, walk around and show you what um, I'll be doing there. But uh, there's gonna be tons of caddies right over here and a lot more. So there's actually tons of boxes of different type of equipment. But in this video, instead of just you know showing you the different products, I want to show you all the other stuff that goes into uh, going to a coral show. You need to have gloves, you need to have uh, paper towels, you need to have bags for corals, uh, business cards, uh, more bags. There is a price labeler here. So this way, if somebody's uh, asking you about a particular item, uh, it's nicely labeled. And more caddies, treasure corals. And I guess, that's all about the dry goods, but let's take a look at the actual corals. And now we are looking at actual corals. Um, now, the only not so great thing about this is that although the show starts at 10 a.m., you have to be there easily two, three hours before, and that means that I have to probably start packing at 5 a.m. Um, all of these corals, but what am I going to use to transport the coral? It will be this Yeti cooler. Um, I also have this awesome cooler uh, from Ikea, which when I've seen it, I couldn't go past uh, it. So this is gonna be uh, for some frags over here. And for more frags, is gonna, they're gonna go into these containers, but also there's gonna be a couple of buckets of frags as well. So there's gonna be tons of frags uh, that I'm gonna be taking from all these different systems. There's gonna be um, kind of more eclectic mixes right over here. And you've got some acros, you've got some monties, you've got the frog spawns, 
and say Pastria, but then there is this section over here which is all Acropora. So you've got tons of uh, corals, um, you know, nothing super high end. I don't do that yet. So if you're looking for a green slimer, I've got it. I've got the needle in the haystack and, you know, a whole bunch of other uh, frags. Now, more of a bread and butter is going to be this section over here where you have some gonies. You've got some war coral and green star polyps and more um, favia and there's different types of favia. There's different types of plating monty, green monty, um, sunset monty, you name it. So tons of monties, a few mushrooms. This is the forest fire mushrooms. Uh, more LPS and even some right over here. So whatever I'll be able to pack and fit into my containers, I'll try to take with me. And I am super stoked about it. So if you, I hope you will be able to make it out to Niagara. And uh, if you will, and you will be walking around come by say hi um, maybe give me a few ideas for the next few videos you want to um, uh, me to talk about and yeah this is gonna be pretty awesome so thanks for everybody who will be showing up there and let's uh, make one amazing um, coral show this year <laughs>